Hi, I'm Betsy, and this is my helper, Ellie. We just bought a 2018 Ram Promaster 1500 cargo van. We plan to convert it to a camper van for fun getaways and adventures. Come along with us on this journey. So I'm going to try to upholster the panel, the OEM panel that came with the van. Um, I'm not looking forward to this, but I, I just got to go for it. I did clean the panel with the denatured alcohol, and I had to clean it again this morning because I left it in the shop, and I won't name names, but somebody walked all over it. So there were some little paw prints on my panel. Right, Wolfie? So I've uh, cleaned it again with the denatured alcohol. I'll put more adhesive down just in like a seven inch strip and just keep working my way over and hopefully he won't get uh get on the panel while i'm working on it you might huh buddy so my biggest fear with this was <clears throat> i would lay it out it would get stuck and wrinkled and then i thought you know what why don't i do it in baby steps so what i did is i put enough glue i covered but I, where I didn't want glue, and I put enough glue to where I did maybe, you know, seven inches of it. And it's actually looking pretty good. And so I used the, the roller that we use for the Noiko the sound deadener, just to get the adhesives to stick together pretty well. So it's looking good so far, but now I'm out of adhesive, so i got to go get some more. But I, I think I'm over the initial panic. I think it'll look nice. So again, I'm just working in small sections so I can control it a little bit better and you definitely want to work outdoors with this stuff because it really stinks but you get you spray it on and you just touch it with your knuckle after about a minute or two to see if it's still tacky if it's still tacky just give it another minute to set up and you want to apply like two or three um, coatings of this stuff and um, uh, then when it's, you know, both sides have, have had time to uh, set up a little bit, like one to two minutes for each coating, you want to go ahead and press it together and bond it, and you got to do that within a 10-minute window. So it stinks, but it works. So now we're going to see if it's set up. So that's still just a little bit. Yeah, a little tacky when you touch it, so I'm going to leave it for another minute or two. All right, let's see if it's set up now. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, not sticking to my knuckle, so I can put the second coat on. So this is contact adhesive, which means both sides have adhesive on it, and when they make contact, that's when they stick together. So... I am using the roller that I use for the Noiko, or that Betsy used for the Noiko, to get a really good bond between the two sides. And you can hear it when it sticks together. It sort of makes a sticky sound. So this will give it some good contact. I'm just uh, going to be tacking around the outside edges. But the most important thing when you're doing the back side and before you finish everything is to know where the holes are that you're going to have to reattach things. So this is where the bolts go through to get into the plus nuts. And up here, see where I've notched out, that'll go around the holes where the little buttons go to hold in the OEM panel. So that's important to do before you start spraying glue. Otherwise you got a mess. I have the panel in and it actually looks very nice. So with our open floor concept, you know, you go right from the, the kitchen to the bedroom. So the bed will be laying across that way, and I'll be putting that in today. So there's that panel, and there's the one that I made out of half-inch plywood. And um, that looks good. And this looks good. 
So here's the 2x4 that supports the bed, and this is where the bolts go in to the rib nuts into the rib of the van. So it's very sturdy. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you with your project. 